there's one vegetable that we consume more than any other, and it forms the basis of so many of our sides and meals. Of course, I'm talking lettuce, that king of leafy greens that sometimes, oddly enough, gets overlooked in our backyard gardens. One thing that's impossible to overlook, though, is the price of lettuce at the store lately. Ouch. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we promise to always keep the cost down. And today's episode is all about free lettuce. More accurately, how to plant and grow your own for max harvest. Time short as it always is, so let's dive in. First up, even though you don't see it often, you can direct seed lettuce. Honestly though, I've found it to be quite uneven, quite unreliable, and a pain at best. Starter plugs rule the roost, so that's going to be our focus for today. Historically, lettuce comes in four main types or categories. Romaine, leafy, butterhead, and iceberg. While they may look radically different, they're all planted and grown much the same. At the beginning of every growing season, you can buy lettuce plugs for pretty cheap. Usually less than 50 cents each. What I like to do though, is just make my own. They germinate quick and grow fast. You can even make biodegradable pots out of paper towel rolls. Germinate your favorite lettuce varieties between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit and you'll have your own little lettuce plugs in no time. Either way, most lettuces are pretty cool tolerant and they can be one of the first plants to grow into the garden in the spring. Once your nighttime lows stay consistently north of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, your lettuce can safely go into the garden. Planting them this early in the spring allows us to beat the summer heat and harvest those lettuce leaves when they look and taste their best. As an added bonus, you can plant your lettuce again at the end of summer for a fall harvest that's just as nice. For location, lettuce is a full sun plant. So for best results, six plus hours a day of direct sunlight, no exceptions. And for soil, I know we say it all the time, but it does need to drain freely while simultaneously retaining moisture. This is true for most plants, but especially a lush leafy green like lettuce. So, shoot for a loose, rich, high in organic matter soil that drains freely and has a neutral pH. Alright, for planting lettuce plugs, depth is super important. You always want to plant it to the existing root color. No deeper, but also not high and dry. When I'm planting lettuce, especially if my bed may be a little dry, maybe a little lacking, I like to use a quality potting mix as I'm doing it. Instead of backfilling in with the display soil from the bed, using potting soil really helps those plugs to feel at home. It allows for quicker root growth and much less transplant shock. Moving on, if you're going to be growing more than one lettuce plant, you need to space them about a foot apart. The upright romaine types can be squeezed in a little bit tighter at 8 inches, but don't get too crazy with it. Oh, and for you container growers, a single head of lettuce should be planted in about a 3 gallon pot. Do try to plant on a calm, cool, overcast day and mulch and water immediately to avoid transplant shock. If you amend your beds with compost, there's no need to fertilize at this time. But if you feel that your soil is lacking, wait about a week after planting and fertilize with a liquid organic boost. And because we're growing for pure leaf growth, aim for a little bit higher in nitrogen. In about four to five weeks, you can start thinking about harvesting your lettuce. Now, for those upright romaine types, just take the outside leaves first in a process known as the cut and come again method. Do it this way for a near unlimited supply. Easy stuff. Almost as easy as checking out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, 
be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.